Have you ever wondered how much your trailer and your truck weigh and if they're within the manufacturer specifications for the tow vehicle you have? Well, I'm going to show you how easy it is to weigh them in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back, everyone. My name's Patrick, and if this is your first time here at Travels with Delaney, welcome. We're your channel all about RVing and living life to the fullest. So we've been pulling trailers now for 15 years, and one of the things that I always dreaded was going to a CAT scale to weigh our tow vehicle and trailer. Now, main reason I did was when you pull in, there's a box, you push, and then you have to talk to somebody inside, and they're expecting semi-drivers. And so they're always wanting things like your truck number and your driver number, and sometimes it was just hard to hear through those speaker boxes to be able to communicate with them that, hey, I'm just a guy with an RV and I just want to get a sense for what my total combined weight is. So, and then typically what you would do is after you finally got through all that, they tell you to come inside, that's assuming you could understand it, and then you would go in and pay and get a printout. Well, great news, RVers. Cat has came out with an app for your smartphone to where you don't have to talk to anyone. You can just pull onto a Cat scale, open up your app, pay online, and it will actually email you a PDF of your printout. Now, if you really want the paper printout, I believe they say they will keep a copy of it in the station wherever you're weighing for up to an hour. But if you don't need that, literally you can just pull away and you are done. I'm gonna show you just how easy this is. All right, I'm at the CAT scale. Now what I wanna do is I wanna make sure my front axle of the tow vehicle is on the first scale, back axle on the second, and then the trailer on the third. We look good. So now what I need to do here is Open up my cat app. It's going to ask me, is this where you're at? And we are. We're in Fremont, Indiana. So I'm going to accept. If it doesn't come up with the right GPS, there's a number on the box you can enter in. It's going to ask for a tractor number, trailer number. And uh, I've already got that set up. It's just one and one. It's going to ask me to pay the $12 fee. I'm going to accept. It's waiting for verification or authorization. So they're just verifying your credit card. Processing payment. And there we go. We're done. We've got our scale numbers. And it gives us a steering axle, a drive axle. It gives us our trailer and our total gross weight. So that's how simple it is. And... Um, that's it, we're done. Now, I can go, I bet if I go to my email, make sure there's no trailers behind me. Somewhere here, weigh my scale, and I've already received a PDF printout of that. So that's how easy it is to weigh your truck and trailer on the cat scale. If you're finding value in this video and enjoying it so far, we'd sure appreciate it if you give it the thumbs up and leave us a comment down below. All right, now back to our video. Now that we have the weight from the CAT scale, what exactly does it mean? So I'm gonna quickly run through some of the key numbers we should be looking at to find out where we're at as far as our trailer and our tow vehicle. Now let's start by looking at them separately and we're gonna begin with the tow vehicle. I always hate when I see signs on trailers or fifth wheels that say half ton towable. Just because you have a half ton truck does not mean that you can definitely tow that trailer because not all trucks are created equal or SUVs or whatever you're going to be using to tow with. And just as confusing is when you go to buy that vehicle to tow your trailer with, they may say that, oh yeah, it has a towing capacity of 9,000 pounds, but 
ultimately it may not be able to tow 9,000 pounds because there's so many weights we have to consider besides just the weight of the trailer and what the truck or SUV is capable of towing. So let's go ahead and break those down real quickly for you. The first number I want to look at is the gross vehicle weight rating for my tow vehicle or GVWR. Now if you don't know what it is for your vehicle you can find that typically by looking right here in the door sill on the driver's side. There should be a sticker that's going to tell you that and for my 2017 Toyota Tundra it says it is 7100 pounds. But right below that it lists two more GAWR gross actual weight rating. Each axle, and you have two axles, you're going to have your steering axle at the front of your vehicle, you're going to have your drive axle at the rear of the vehicle. Each of those is rated for a maximum weight. And when I look here, my front axle is rated for 4,000 pounds and my rear axle is rated for 4150. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, Patrick, if I add those together, that's 8150. Why isn't the gross vehicle weight rating 8150? And my understanding is they do that a lot of times because they wanna make sure that that total gross vehicle weight rating is under the total of those two because they don't want you overloading, let's say the rear axle, but still being under that gross vehicle weight rating. So. Just understand they don't always add up an equal gross vehicle weight rating. So there's a couple weights we need to think about. What's the total vehicle gonna weigh with everything in it, cargo, fuel, passengers, and how much weight are we putting on each of those axles? Now you might also see one that says CCC or cargo carrying capacity. Now the curb weight, oh no, not another one, yeah. So the curb weight is what does your tow vehicle weigh ready to drive before you put anything in it? That means no passengers, no cargo, no extras. If you take your gross vehicle weight rating minus your cargo carrying capacity, that's gonna give you your curb weight. So let's run through that one more time, or we can do it backwards, curb weight, what the vehicle weighs, ready to drive before you put anything in it, plus cargo carrying capacity equals gross vehicle weight rating. All right, if you're not thoroughly confused yet, hang on, I'll throw a few more at you. Now, just remember, when you went to buy your tow vehicle, pretty much if you would ask about towing, they probably threw out a maximum tow amount, and they probably also threw in a tongue weight rating. Now, Again, it's possible that if you put lots of cargo in your vehicle and lots of passengers, that travel trailer rating or fifth wheel rate rating is going to drop significantly. So it's possible the vehicles rated for 5,000 pounds may not be able to pull a full 5,000 pounds because if you have your vehicle fully loaded, it's going to come off of what we call the GCWR, Gross Combined Weight Rating. Now that number that we can get from the owner's manual of most vehicles is going to tell us when we're fully attached to a trailer or a fifth wheel, how much can we have in combined weight. Now for this particular vehicle, I believe it's around 15,300 pounds. That's a lot. The truck is actually rated to pull 9,100 pounds. But let's think about this. If you can load this truck to 7,100 pounds and you can have a combined rating of 15,300 pounds, you're not hauling 9,100 pounds, at least not according to what the safety standards for this vehicle say. Now let's talk about trailer weight. So now your trailer is also going to have a gross vehicle weight rating or GVWR and that's basically going to be what can the trailer weigh fully loaded. So you will find that number typically either on the side of your trailer, on the tongue of your trailer, or in some cases I've even seen it inside in a cabinet. So for this particular trailer, we are rated for 5,700 pounds. That's gonna include, again, the weight of the trailer and it's also going to include anything that we put in it. You're also gonna see a dry weight. Now what a dry weight for a camper means is it's the weight of the trailer before you add any fluids to it and before you add any cargo to it. So our trailer arrived at the dealership with a dry weight of approximately 4,900 pounds. So if I take this 5,700 pound gross vehicle weight rating minus the dry weight of our camper, remember on a vehicle we call that the curb weight, 
if I minus that, then that leaves me about 800 pounds to put into this trailer. But remember, the minute I start adding fresh water, that number comes down. If I'm hauling any gray water or black water in the tanks, like let's say I'd been boondocking, okay, that's going to bring that number down. Plus any cargo that we put in there. That's going to be things like our food, our clothes, and anything else that goes in this trailer. Also on the sticker, you will find axle ratings for your trailer. In our case, each axle is rated for 2,900 pounds. Again, ends up being about 5,800 pounds, even though the trailer is only rated for 5,700 pounds. Now that we kind of know those weights, the final weight on a trailer or a fifth wheel is either going to be your tongue weight or your pin weight. And so this particular trailer, when we had it at the dealership before we put our stuff in, came in at about 600 pounds tongue weight. And again, depending on what we put in there and where we put it in, do we put it in front of the axle or do we put it back behind the axle? That may offset that tongue weight some. Now, when you weigh your tow vehicle and your trailer at the cat scale, what it's not gonna tell you is your actual tongue weight. Now there's different ways that you can weigh your tongue and one is using a device that I reviewed earlier this year and I'm gonna link that for you right up above if you wanna check that out. They also sell more advanced weighing systems or you could potentially go to a cat scale, unhitch, you would put the tongue on one scale and the rest of the trailer on the other. The only problem is you have to be really respectful because if the scale is a busy scale and you're taking time to unhitch, that may be frowned upon. So a good alternative to that is to actually work with a local RV dealer because most of the time they're going to have a scale where they will be able to weigh your tongue for you to get an exact reading on what the tongue weight is on your trailer. And remember, anytime you add stuff to the tongue like propane and batteries, that's going to add to that weight, which is being put onto your tow vehicle. Now we got all these weights and we have to start figuring out, is it safe for us to be towing this trailer? So what I can tell you is again, my Toyota Tundra is rated for 15,300 pounds gross combined weight. When we went to the CAT scale, we came in at just a little over 12,000 pounds combined truck and trailer. And that's really good because we are under what it is rated for. Now, it's rated for a tongue weight, I believe, around 900 pounds. And even if that 600 jumps up when we load up the trailer, we're going to be well under the tongue weight rating, so we're good there. In terms of the axle weight ratings, we were several hundred pounds under on our rear axle weight rating. So all around, we're in good shape. The only place we can get into problems with this Tundra is going to be right here in the bed. Cargo capacity in our case is going to include not only myself and Patty, but the two dogs and the tongue weight of our trailer gets added into that and anything we put in the bed. So when we start adding things in like electric bikes and generators and whatever else we might be taking, we have to take that into consideration because we really want to make sure that number one, we keep this rear axle under the rating and also the gross vehicle weight rating under what it should be. Lots of numbers, lots of things to consider. I am no expert by any means at figuring all these weights out. I have spent a lot of time over the 15 years trying to figure it out for myself. But what I recommend for you is to really dive into the numbers for your tow vehicle and your trailer, looking at what they're rated for. And again, remember, you're going to find those on those stickers on the vehicle or the trailer or in your owner's manual. The other thing I'd suggest is check out Mark from Keep Your Daydreams video on towing weights. And I'm going to link that for you. He has an excellent video that he put out, oh, about two years ago. He even has a spreadsheet where you can put in all your numbers and kind of see where you're at. The other suggestion is always talk to your car manufacturer, also talk to your RV salesman, but ultimately you have to be the one to make sure that what you're combining together is going to be a comfortable towing experience for you as well as a safe towing experience without putting anyone or anything in danger. Let me know what your experience has been trying to figure out all these crazy numbers, and I'm sure there's some I forgot. Till next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.